Welcome back, travelers. It's Slider Havoc here, and we are back for number three of Happy Room. If you guys haven't seen the first two, I'd advise go back and check them out. We start all the way from number one, and we're just waking our, making our way through the achievements and hopefully eventually beating the game. We'll see. If you are new to the channel, also, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button to see more material that I've been putting out every day. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to hit that like button. It only takes you a second. It doesn't even cost you anything. Just click. Just once. I'm not one of those crazy people who says if you click it three times, you'll get a magical gold button. No. Anyways, let's go and get started. When we left off, we had just gotten like 4,000 with our interesting contraption here. But that's going to go away because we are going to get going on some of the next things that we need to do. So the first thing I see is hit monsters with axes 20 times. So we're going to go ahead and pull out our axes here. And I'm thinking if we just chop them all this direction, like this way, then eventually we can make him hit this bouncer over here and he'll send him back over. And then this bouncer, we'll put a bouncer here like that. And then maybe a couple of them. We'll just put a couple bouncers. We'll just keep them bouncing. Keep on bouncing. They see me rolling. Okay. Lots and lots of bouncers. Let me put another axe in here. Can I afford? No, I have eight bucks left. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, you know, I kind of forgot a key ingredient. I kind of forgot the monsters. So maybe I can get a beheading here if I'm lucky. Um, they're beating them up pretty good. Like really good, actually. <laughs> but he's uh, he's breaking these axes really well. Okay. Still no beheading, though. And that last one's probably not going to do it. Nope. But I de-armed him and de-legged him. So that's pretty cool. Let's see the damage on that one. Um, yeah, he had he lost an arm, part of a leg, but his head didn't take a lot of damage. Okay. Well, this was a decent idea. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two. That way I can put some monsters. Because I don't think the monsters die. So they'll just keep getting hit. So that should be good. Let's try that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now that's going up quickly. Okay, cool. So we got the monsters beat up. And, uh... Actually, those monsters seem to do some decent damage. I mean, not great damage, but they're doing, you know, 15 to 20 per bite. And they just keep going. So that's not horrible. I'm, I'm not too sad with that, but that we, we, we made our goal, so whatever. Uh, dummy is staying frozen for 10 seconds. Um, and then 500 fire gun damage while dummy is on spikes. Okay. We got this. Okay. So you go up here. Spikes up here. Good old traditional up and down on the spikes. And then, oh, the fire gun's probably going to have to get mounted on the wall. So I might have to move this fire gun. Yeah. He has to get mounted on the wall. Okay. So we'll do this. We'll put that guy there. We'll swap this out with this guy. Go away. Like that. And then we will move our spikes over here. And I'm thinking if I put the freeze guns here too, I might get that 10 seconds of frozen. Oh, that's kind of contradictory, fire and ice, but we'll see. Uh, the ice gun. Oh, this one mounts on the wall. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's put a couple of these up here. Like that. All right, so he's going to get frozen by the ice, apparently, and then thawed out by the fire. And then all he's got to do is 500 damage. Let's just, let's try it out. Well, that didn't work the way I had hoped. Okay, let's move our spikes a little bit further over. And let's see if he hits the spikes this time. Well, heck, okay. <laughs> let's put more spikes up here. This is, you know what, can, I can't put spikes on the wall. It's like, that could have been that. Okay, cool. This should get it. Oh, no, because it's not getting bounced back up there. Okay. I'm not thinking here. I'm not thinking clearly. All right. If any of you guys, there we go. That'll work. This will do it. I know this will do it. Oh, of course, this time he actually hits the spikes where he's supposed to the first time. Of course. Okay, but he's not going to stay frozen for 10 seconds, and I didn't deal 500 damage. Do I need more fire guns? More fire guns. Like here. 
that's too close there that should do it that should do it and I've got a lot of money left so let's go ahead and do more ice as well like this that that should be better okay 10 seconds still not there 500 damage not there they might be canceling each other out. So let's try this. Let us do this. And let's just see how this goes. Okay. Oh, it's while he's on the spikes. That's the only time it counts. So the time he's taking fire damage when he's not on the spikes doesn't count. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do cheating method then. That's pretty simple. These guys didn't have a very large range. Oh, they got a pretty decent range. We're going to move all these down here. Like so. And then we're going to put the spikes right here. Uh, I can't put them on the floor. Do I have a dollar? I got one dollar. Spikes on the floor and wall. Cool. That's what we want. So then he just falls here and takes all the damage. Easy peasy. And then torch them. Torch them. Yeah, there we go. Got our 500 damage. Okay, cool. Now, now for the frozen thing, I'm going to go back to an oldie but goodie. We're going to do the conveyor belt with the portals. So from there to there. And then our saws. But I want him to move quickly so he's not burning up all the fuel from the ice guns or whatever and do this so we'll put like one here and one here one here and one here let's see if this works keep them frozen for 10 seconds all right still frozen there you go keep them frozen there we go no i need more ice guns okay more ice guns lots of ice guns Lots of frozenness. Make sure none of them are running out. Okay. Let's try that. That's like a deep freeze right there. He is not going to become an unfrozen anytime soon. Wow. That was faster than I thought it was going to be. Wow. That's faster than I thought it was going to be. Um, Tear off a frozen part. <laughs> well. Oh, that was his head. <laughs> okay. But I did not get the frozen for 10 seconds yet. Whew. Okay. I'm genuinely curious. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If I keep him on the conveyor a little bit longer. So, we're going to do our slow moving conveyor. That takes him up a little bit. So, he stays frozen and doesn't get a thought out in between. So we're going to do this. Hopefully he makes it up this. Okay. Then we're going to catch him down here. And bring him this way. Little by little. And there. And we're going to stop him right here. All right. And then we're going to turn all these the other way. I think we got, I think this will work. I'm hopeful here. Then we're going to grab our ice guns and we're going to place them so he doesn't necessarily get affected by them on both. He might. These are going to burn out quickly. And then here, here. I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll just see. Staying frozen. Keep going. Keep going. No, he thaws out really quick. I may not need the second row, though. Um, well, no, time-wise. Oh, how do I keep him frozen for 10 seconds? Okay. New idea. Coming up with all crazy ideas now. Okay. We're just going to bounce him. Oh, you know what? I don't need to bounce him. I know what to do. I know what to do. The portal. Like this. He's going to go by so fast that they're not going to continuously, you know, shoot them. 
So we're going to put this here, 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 and here, and here, okay. So he's going to constantly be going through the stream, so he's just going to stay frozen. Yes, and see how they're just kind of poofing. They're not really spending it all. He's just kind of poofing. So they've all got plenty of, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. What do we got next? What do we have next? Uh, Terraftomy limb, which is an acid. Interesting. Put all parts in acid. Well, that should be doable with that acid gun, I'm assuming. So this guy, he only mounts on the walls. Okay. So all we're gonna do is just put a couple acid guns over here and launch him over into the corner and maybe some spikes on the wall just to make sure that he uh, falls straight down onto the acid like this. And let's go. Come on. I didn't get all parts in acid. Okay. Let's try more acid guns. Okay. Okay. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. That did it. That did it. Okay, we've got axe, spike, saw. Hmm. I can go back to my conveyor belt. Here we go. So we're going to do a conveyor belt again. Love these conveyor belts. Okay, he's going to deliver them right to an axe. Which is then going to hit him into the spikes. Actually, I want to pull it down like that. Okay. And then there's going to be a couple saws down here. Just to make sure he hits. Right. And then the axe. Get rid of you. Oh, and you apparently. The axe is going to take him off of this. Actually, if I reverse the rotation, maybe I'll just shoot him right in the spikes and he'll find those fallen saw. Let's see. Why, why, why? Why don't I ever think of these things? Come on. There we go. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Off the saw. Axe hit him into the spikes. No. Okay. We're going to try to go a little shorter here. We're going to put you over here. And we're going to turn you back around. That way you throw him into the spikes. Come on. Come on. Nope. Okay. Maybe a little bit lower. <laughs> as low as I can go. All right. Let's try that. So take him over. Hit him, hit him. Into the spikes. That didn't seem to work. Okay. Maybe. Oh, you know what? He hit the wall. I'm wondering if that actually stops it. Let's see. Let's go faster. Okay. Hit him. Into the spikes. Into the spikes. Into the spikes. And now hit the saw. Yes! All right. All right. So we got that one. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? You know what? I think that's a pretty good place to wrap it up. We got quite a few done today. Um, not as many as I'd like, but, you know, they're starting to get a little more difficult. So it's kind of a little more planning and methodical or whatever. But I want to thank you guys for watching today. I do apologize for the audio out of sync towards, like, throughout the video. Um, <clears throat> new equipment, new setup, and I'm still having a couple of issues I'm still trying to learn from. But if you guys are brand new to the channel and you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. If you like what you saw in general, please hit that like button. Until the next time, I'm out of here. Peace!